What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Let's get over 250 likes on this video. Y'all have been spamming the likes going crazy. The live show got over like 1200 views yesterday in the matter of like an hour, two hours. There was like 200 people uh, up to about 200 something people or something like that in the live show yesterday it was lit it was awesome thank you guys as always for showing that love and coming and ha hanging out make sure you comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the 50 dollars giveaway that i do every single week on this channel and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already once again i am back with another high five so to review uh we finally it was the first time since nba started back I mean, we'll start it for the shortened season that we did not end in green. It was the first night. All the other nights, we were in green. Except for this night. One night. And it just happened to be a baseball type of outing. It's like, you know, good hitters in great spots just don't do anything. And that's just baseball at times. You know what I mean? But hey, I'm excited to get right back into it, man. All right, our win percentage is ridiculous. And I'm excited to just rack it up, rack it up. All the way through, you know, baseball, NBA going at the same time here come Thursday. And then we got going into NFL, which is definitely going to be fun too. So I'm just excited. GreenlightDFS.com, join the squad. Let's get straight into it. I'm not going to keep up too much of your time. Stay till the end of the video. I'll do the home run predictions. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, starting off at pitcher, Andrew Heaney and Garrett Cole are the two guys I'm really leaning towards. Now, Andrew Heaney gets the privilege of going against this Seattle offense that I've been picking on a lot lately. Um, that he's at home in Los Angeles, which is a solid, it's okay pitcher park, okay? He's going against a bad team that strikes out a lot. He's only 7'9". He himself is a solid pitcher. A lot of these teams' ace have come right back around, and now the aces are back. So we have a lot better pitching on this slate than we've been dealing with the last few slates. Um, and it's really one of those situations where, like, this is where it's going to really start coming back into play making sure you're building solid lineups and not just kind of getting lucky with your bats going double dongs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You really are going to have to get your pitching right for sure. So Andrew Heaney and Garrett Cole are just an amazing combo to me. Um, Garrett Cole, I mean, do I really have to explain this much? I mean, he struck out eight Atlanta Brave players. He looked amazing, gave up only one hit. Uh, Garrett Cole looked great in his first start. Now he gets to go against Baltimore which who seem a little bit revived. That offense seems a little bit better than it was before. Um, last year, at least, at least through spring training, they've looked really good. And so far in the beginning of the season, they've been okay. But it's still Baltimore. Strikes out a ton. They haven't done much to their lineup to improve the strikeout rate. They strike out a ton. Garrett Cole is going to wipe them down. Period. Okay, he's going to set them up. And then just wipe them right down. All right. Tons of strikeout upside here for Garrett Cole at 11 4. I really, really love Garrett Cole. Now, if you decide that, you know, me, my first focus is getting the pitchers that I want and pitchers that are in great spots that I think could go off. Um, but if you want to go down from Garrett Cole to another a guy around like the 9K or so range to get up to a bat, I mean, I guess that's okay. Um, I guess that's fine with it. I mean, we'll talk more about it in the live show after some time research. We'll talk about it in the live show tomorrow, which I'll probably be live about 2.30 p.m. Central. So we'll talk about it then. But yeah, Garrett Cole with his strikeout rate going against Baltimore, who's a bad offense regardless of how great they've been playing. Um, they are a little better than last year, yes, but they're still going to strike out a ton. So Garrett Cole's a beast. Next up, Paul Goldschmidt. Now, I had a, I had a saying last year, all right? When Paul Goldschmidt goes versus a lefty, you just start him and move on with your life. All right? Paul Goldschmidt is a monster versus left-handed pitching. He's only 4-4. This is just, it feels really, really safe, okay? And pretty much in this high five, I just, because I have Garrett Cole in here, I wanted to make sure my bats were at least 4,500 or less on some of them. And then I have a really cheap one at the end, which you will you guys will recognize him. But Paul Goldschmidt at 4,400, righty-lefty against Hill. Like I said, he smashes left-handed pitching. He always has. And I think he's going to have an amazing game here. Next up, Whit Merrifield. Now, Whit Merrifield's got the righty-lefty matchup. Okay, and then if you look deeper, thirty-nine plate appearance uh, at bats, twenty hits, thirty-nine at bats and twenty hits, a five thirteen batting average in thirty-nine at bats. 
That is crazy. That is a very solid sample size, and that just shows Whit Merrifield sees Matthew Boyd very... I don't know if it's something about Matthew Boyd's release or what it is, but he sees Matthew Boyd very, very well. It is a righty-lefty matchup, and Whit Merrifield's in a fantastic spot. Just like he was yesterday, he ended up hitting a home run. Uh, he's in a great spot again versus Matthew Boyd, and he has shown that throughout his career versus Matthew Boyd that he will smash him, all right? Another Kansas City Royal, and I'm sorry to do this again because I, I tend to go back to him, and he actually sucked yesterday, but I'm going to go back to the well for that exact reason, because he sucked, and this dude has tremendous p tremendous power. This is a double-dong type of player, Jorge Soler at 3-6, okay? Soler is just gives you exposure to a very cheap bat, with double dong upside, plain and simple. Like, I hate to do it back-to-back -back days because I put him in the high five yesterday, and then he didn't do anything. But this is, like, I I'm going to go back to the well because at the end of the day, this is DFS. This is a player who hits with a ton of power, who can get you a home run. We don't need a ton of points at 3-6. He's just in a fantastic spot here against a left-handed pitcher. Righty-lefty matchup, tons of power, and only 3-6. Okay, it's a great spot for him. I'm really feeling good about him um, as a cheap guy to go with on this slate. And that's it. Andrew Heaney, Garrett Cole, Paul Goldschmidt, Whit Merrifield, and Jorge Soler is the high five so far. Same plays are doable over on FanDuel. You guys know my take over there. I will probably spend up for a Garrett Cole type. I'm not going to play with anybody less than that. I'm going to go a super ace. All right, Heaney is a very, very, very solid pitcher, but I like going super aces on FanDuel. So I'll probably go Garrett Cole over there, and then I'll, obviously I'll be going Paul Goldschmidt, Merrifield. So Lair not isn't as much of a must over there because you have a lot more, you know, durability over there. You know, you can you you know you got cheaper bats over there. Guys who are like four or five on DK will be like two three on FanDuel. It's ridiculous. So take advantage of that. All right, now. The moment you all have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and get into these home run predictions. All right. Now, all of these predictions are going to be for the entire day. They're not just for the main slate. We have other slates on the day. So, period. If I say a name that's not on the main slate, it's because he is on another one. All right. Let's go ahead and start it out. I really love, I'm sorry to do this, but Solaire again to get another home run. Okay. I, I just do. Plain and simple. All right. Um, he's in a great spot. Uh, I really like Nelson Cruz. I really like CJ Cron. I think CJ Cron is in for a, a home run in this one. He's actually pretty well priced as well. So CJ Cron's in a good spot. Um, this shouldn't be much of a surprise, but Mike Trout is in a fantastic spot. Um, what else we got here? Let's go ahead and go Jose Abreu. I like Jose Abreu on this site uh, on this slate. One guy I do want to bring up, and I, I know his first appearance uh, at pitching was horrible, but Shohei Otani could possibly get him one here, lefty righty against Justin Dunn. Um, and that's about it. I mean, there's not a ton of guys on the slate that I could see. I mean, there's really. You just want to get these base guys who gets on base. I mean, when it comes to home runs, I mean, obviously you'll have, like, you'll have these Yankee guys that are going to be able to hit home runs for sure against Wojciechowski. So you know, Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton, those guys. Outside of that, there's just not a there's not a ton. Christian Yelich, I like. Um, Eric Thames, I like. Um, you know, but outside of that, that's about it. That's about it, honestly. Like today's. Home run predictions is, I mean, and I'll go back over it during the live show and do it throughout the day if I find anybody else. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely see him getting one. But the Yankee bats, Stanton Judge, um, going on the other end, uh, I, I do like Yelich. Um, to continue off of that, it was Jose Abreu. And then they keep going CJ Cron, Nelson Cruz, Mike Trout. And that's about it. I probably missed somebody repeating it, but you get the gist. You heard it. CJ Cron. I already did. I mention CJ Cron. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'll go back over in the live show. Make sure you come hang out for the live show. Ask some questions. Hang out and just you know, period. Talk DFS, and uh, we will talk over everything. Kind of give a more updated slate. This is a first look. This is just my first look. Gut calls on this slate. Um, later on in the live show, I'll be a lot more studied up. 
and we will get more conversation going on it. All right. Comment anything in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Thank you guys as always for joining me. And I'm out. Peace.